Uh, it doesn't matter, man. It's a win in our book. We got the win. No matter how you get it, if it was by one point or by half of a point, a win is a win. But uh, that's something that we're working on this year to be better at, you know, minimizing our turnovers, you know, creating turnovers on the defensive edge, you know, stopping the run a lot better, you know. So, you know, that is some, that's something that we try to improve on, just like, like I said earlier. It's just something that we can look at each, each and individual game and be better at something that we were last year. I do, I do hear about it a lot, you know, they do, you know, that is the most favorite play, I feel like. A lot of, a lot of people love, you know, Kyle Ellsworth jumping over the top, you know, being the Superman. Uh, and I still smile about it, man, because it's one of those moments that you, like, you wouldn't expect to be in that moment. You never, you would never expect him to jump over top of him. Uh, even if you're practiced it that way, it's still something that you would never think that a guy would have that much trust. Like, I'm, a, I'm just going to do it, you know. So, for me to be in there, and I, I looked up like, oh, he is crazy. He did it. He really did it, you know. So, you were, were you like, you were looking up at him at that moment? I, I just, so ha I'm like, when I, when I got off the ball, I look and I see something over me, and I'm like, there's no one that's 10 feet tall that's like, could hover over the line. So, I figured it was him after he made the hit, and I'm like, yep, you know, it was him. He actually did it. I say that, you know, I grew up a lot, you know, a lot of the experience that I had in high school helped me better myself today, you know, whether they were negative or positive, it was things that, you know, I'm able to use today to, you know, better understand certain situations, you know, uh, it was, it was, it was great to have, you know, Coach G as a head coach also, Coach Narduzzi as a D coordinator because those guys helped mold me into the guy I am into the I am today, you know, I was always that smiling personality, but now they were able to, you know, help me speak my, speak my mind a lot better and uh, be constructive with my, my words, so, uh, I would definitely say that, you know, going through what I went through in high school and, you know, growing up in New Jersey, it uh, it was a little a little tough. I had a couple of tough times, but once I got here, I you know, I was able to build myself, build my brand and, you know, I'm trying to work at it now to be, you know, a better me. When you Yeah, I was I was always focused on coming back, but when you hear like millions of dollars, of course you're like, man, I should maybe I should go, you know, I can make that. But uh, like I said, it was just, you know, I, I wanted to get my degree. Uh, second off, I love playing with these guys, you know, being out here with these guys and, you know, laughing, all the moments that we have, I wasn't ready to give that up, and I knew that I wasn't ready for the NFL. So, so you think re more re not ready, like, just in terms of you want to experience it, or do you think physically you're ready? Physically, physically, I, physically, I don't feel like physically I was ready, you know. It was still a lot more that I could learn, and I'm still learning, you know, so mm -hmm. I feel like that it was a great choice for me, and it was help. It able, you know, it helped me, you know, learn, you know, how to grow up. I was growing up at that point, and it was a big decision for me. Yeah. Uh, I can get it by the end of this year, so. By the end of May? Yeah. So are you looking at this season as potentially your last? No, because I can stretch it out for two more years, you know. Like I said, man, I love these guys. I love playing here. I love Coach D as a head coach, you know. He's always there to help, so I'm really not sure if that's what I want to do yet, you know. So I'm just focused on this season, honestly. This is this has been my primary focus, how can I help these guys this season and be better? Definitely. I, I feel like we have the pieces now. We just have to all click, you know. There's a lot of areas of improvement we could have did. Uh, for this year, you know, looking back at each individual film, it's a lot of, you know, things that we didn't do so well that this year we can, you know, cap on and try to be better at to make our defense, you know, number one. Can you guys That's how we play. That's Spartan Dog defense. You know, we're always angry, you know, and we're going to run to the ball, fly the ball and big hits. We want to make sure that, you know, when one of us is there, we're all there. You know, it's gang tackles uh, and we want to make you quit. Basically, that's our defense. We want to, like, Play until the other team quits. We want to make it so by the end of the game, before the end of the game, you're pretty much, no, nah, I don't want to play them anymore. I'm not going back out there. Those guys, you see those guys? Hit, spinning guys in the air. I'm not doing that. No. You know, so that I think that's what we, we strive on. That's that's still going to be our goal, you know, uh, creating turnovers, being number one defense, uh, and making big hits, man. But we'll see. I'm not sure yet. I'm still, we, we're still deciding on this. It's a team, uh, team effort. We're, we're deciding still. Uh, but... Uh, no matter who I am, I'm gonna you know play my hardest, man. That's just me. I'm just gonna give it my all, and we'll see what nickname everyone else deems me. A lot, all these guys, man. Have you seen my team? Oh my gosh. No, uh, a lot of guys like Curtis Drummond. Uh, defensively, I would say like Joe Heath, uh, R.J. Williamson, uh, Demetrius Cooper. Just you know, Marcus Rush, who, who's been here for years and has been teaching me. You know, just guys that you know I could watch each and every day, and they inspire. They inspire me to play harder. You know, they inspire me to want the best. They inspire me to want to be better uh, because of how hard they work. You know, when you feel like you don't have to be double team, and you feel like they have to respect the rest of your unit, uh, it's a lot easier to play. Uh, when you get chipped by a running back during a pass rush, you know, you kind of unsuspecting that. So when it happens, you're like, man, some somebody else has to get home. Then 
Uh, but it is nice having those guys who are athletic, who who can make plays, you know, beside me, you know, so that they have to respect them not only that, but respect me. So it makes it, you know, it makes it harder for offenses. Well, I gain more weight. Uh, Where are you now? I'm about 260 now. Uh, I understand the game a lot more better too. My mind is. Uh, into the game a lot more, you know. I feel like last year it was I was still a newcomer, you know. I was still trying to understand, still trying to you know fit myself into the scheme, and more so now I'm trying to you know learn different positions, learn what they're doing behind me, you know, learn what the DBs are doing when they're in cover too, you know. So I can I can see that, and when I hear certain things, I know what's going on, you know. So it eases my mind when they're calling out random things, you know. I know I know okay, well he's doing this, he's doing that, so that means I have to fit here, you know. It, it's. Uh, you know, not only that, but I've I worked on you know being able to stop the run a lot better because I feel like that was one of the keys that you know I need to improve at uh, for this year, and I feel like that it's been you know it's been going so well so far, but we'll see how it goes during camp. I think I don't think it was me individually. I think my team season was good, and they made they highlighted me. They made me look as good as I was. I don't think I contributed as as well as I can. I feel like that I had a great team and I had a great uh, you know group of guys around me that. That helped me get that, you know, that honor. It wasn't, it wasn't solely off of my play. How much? I mean, the sky's the limit. It just depends on how I, how hard I work, and I feel like, you know, I'm trying to give it my all right now because what you put in is what you get out. So, you know, that's 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 my main focus right now. You know, putting in as much as I can, uh, understanding the game, and trying to, you know, better myself on all aspects, whether that's pass rushing, you know, run stopping. Or just you know getting out there on the punt team, you know, and standing in front of someone, make sure they don't block the punt. You know, I'm trying to fully understand the game and you know better myself so I can be more versatile. Just we 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 watch film and we watch like these media things and we we figure out what's the new uh, saying. So he hasn't you know, actually told you guys. No, you guys got look at that. That's a sneak well, we peek. Got you got a sneak peek technically. You. Okay. Technically, you got a sneak peek. So uh, what does that mean to you? It starts here. I mean, when you when you hear those words, what does that mean? I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him give the uh, terminology <laughs> on that. I'm just gonna take it for it is. You know, it starts today. It's some, I, I'm gonna just take it like that. It starts today. You know, it all starts right now. You know, what are you doing to better yourself? What are you doing to better this program? I'm happy they said that because if they didn't, I would ask you who it was because I was gonna have to prove ourselves. Uh, no, that's that's definitely what we wanna. Uh, you know, that's that's what we wanna be. You know, just someone who's who's gonna constantly keep hitting you. Every time you get up, we're gonna knock you back down. Uh, we're not gonna stop until the game's over. And even then, we might still give you a couple more blows. You know, you never know. But. No, we, we definitely want to be that hard-nosed defense that, you know, no one likes to play against. And uh, just someone that's that's relentless, uh, someone that's, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter if we're down by 100 or up by 100, we're going to keep coming full throttle. You know, the only way to stop us is to get off our field or get off the field. You know, that's the only way that we're going to stop. So I'm happy they said that. We're still the hunters, man. I don't want to be the hunted. I, I feel like we're still the hunters. You know, we still have a lot to prove to, you know, we, we did a good job of proving to the Big Ten that we, we can play, we're contenders, but I feel like, you know, still nationally, we still need to prove ourselves. Uh, there's a lot more goals that we still have ahead of us and we still want to obtain those goals. So uh, I don't feel like we're the hunted. I feel like we're still hunting, you know, we're still, we still have that edge. We still have that, you know, that chip on our shoulder to be the best. Creative. You call them creative. Uh, <laughs> he is very creative with his sayings. And yeah, his, yeah. Uh, you know, how, <laughs> the problem is understanding the sayings as he says them. You know, no, <laughs> no. It, it is nice having him. You know, he always comes up with something new that just you know keeps our focus. You know, keeps us uh, wanting to drive for success. And you know, like today, you guys got the sneak peek. We didn't hear it yet, but you know, he's he's gonna you know come up with something that we can use to our advantage to stay focused and try to be better than you know the rest and try to be the top in the you know in the nation.